Hey everybody, uh, welcome to yet another smart socket video. Uh, these are made or marketed by the GoSund company. Uh, you can see here they use the uh, same Smart Life app, but they also use GoSmart. Guessing it comes from the same company, not sure. Uh, specs are about the same, 10 amps max. Again, probably rated realistically to about 8, but we'll find out. Scan with your transparency app. I don't know what that transparency is, but if I do, maybe I'll put a notation on the screen somewhere. But let's uh, take a look and see how these compare to uh, my old faithful, these uh, E-Tech City. We'll compare to those. But first, let's take a look at this. Packaging's not bad. It's actually kind of nice. Fancy folding tops. Holds everything in place. They have a little Facebook promotion thing. There's stuff in there. That's cool. Don't do Facebook myself, but teach their own. And then the... Uh, Ah, the instructions. Now, I, again, I am guessing these are ESP based. If they use that Smart Life app, they probably have that chip. That same chip that uh, the rest of them are using. So let's see. We'll uh, get back to that. Let's look at the outlets themselves. These are kind of nice in the way they package them. They put those little uh, covers over the plugs. I don't know why they do that. Why manufacturers? Maybe to, I don't know, it came from poking through stuff maybe. I don't know. But these also look to be glued or welded around here. Just like the other ones. There's uh, no other way I can see to open them. They do have the same button on the side as the uh, Tekken outlets I looked at a few weeks ago. I'll be curious to see how similar those are to the Tekken. So let's uh, see what we can do to get this open. A couple ideas here are implements of deconstruction. Let's see. Probably here, that gap. So let's see, rather than put my hand underneath it, I'm just going to wiggle that in there. Oh yeah, I could actually, you probably saw that too, the whole thing. Starting to wiggle. I can hear what sounds like glue separating. Oh yeah. That was a good one. Hey. So I'm just going to keep working my way around and eventually this should, should come out. Still something holding over here maybe. Feel it's like one spot away from opening. Of course, as I say that, it doesn't. Oh, and then it does. All right, starting to open now. So I'm just going to work my way around. And see that that's where it is secured most so let's see if we can get under that Ooh, good noise and it's separated 
All right, so put that through here. Gently pull. And there we go. There are the guts. Now that looks a lot like that last uh, last one we looked at. There's the brain. I don't know what's inside the brain, but I'm sure we can find out how how tight is that. Sometimes, nope, solder's not going to just pop off. What do we have in here? Glue? Oh, yeah. What is that? Some kind of... I don't know. It's like snot glue. See that? Let's see. That would be... In front of the chip? Heat sink? Glue? Goo, maybe? Huh. Some kind of... It's weird, whatever it is. It's kind of like hot glue, but it's not. Well, we'll leave it in there. I want to see what's underneath this and if it's one of those ESP chips. So let's get Mr. Hot Air warmed up. Mr. Tweezers. And let's zoom you guys in. Now hopefully I can do this without wrecking it. That's the idea. There we go. Can comes off, and verdict is... I think it is. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to bump you. Let's see. What does that say? I think that says ESP8285. I think so. The newer version. Yeah, there's the brain. There's the crystal. Well, it's, that's everything. That's a whole computer. That just amazes me that these things work the way they do. That is so cool. 10 amp. Again, I probably wouldn't go more than 8 amps. We have a fuse, which I believe is to the load of the relay. Might be a main fuse, actually. No. I think that's the main fuse. We have a 10 amp. Yeah, okay. So that's the fuse for the relay. And then that's the fuse for the power supply. You can see it's got a uh, pretty basic power supply. There's a switching controller under the board. You can see there. And then uh, our button for pairing and manual on and off status LED. The output contacts and then the uh, control chip which is an ESP based so pretty cool let me uh, let's put that back on and then let's get this set up so I'll put that back on oops totally missed
Oop, hit that plastic a little bit, but eh, it'll be fine. Now that is just rubbing alcohol. All right, so now let's put it back together. And then it will be paired. So just line her up, push it until it snaps. Then we will get the hot air gun again and seal it back up. I'm going to turn the uh, temperature down. All right, so not perfect. Still got a little mark on the side there, but that's not coming apart. It's not going anywhere. And next up is to uh, pair it up. Be right back. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate with a spotlight that I have. You can see that come on. So, if this were your wall socket, you take it, you plug it in, and you should get a light on the side. You can see, flashing it's blue. And when it's flashing blue like that, that makes it in pair mode. Pretty sure. Let's see. Let's make sure. I think that's the case. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep, flashing slowly. And I'll just show you. So, lights on. Lights off. Lights on. Lights off. So now I'm going to pair it with my phone and turn this light off. We'll turn off the uh, big overhead light so you can see. So, you can see the steps there. That's how you pair it. Now, I should be able to say, Alexa, turn on mini smart plug. Just like that. Now, if you have a Google Home or uh, don't use a digital assistant thingy like that at all, then you can run it off the, uh, the Smart Life app just by itself. Um, I think it also uses if this, then that. 
so you could have it trigger for different reasons. So you can see it was pretty easy to set up. Internally, it's definitely come a bit of a come a long way, we'll say, in construction methods when compared to the eTech City. This was the first uh, true Wi-Fi enabled outlet that I'm aware of. There may be other ones. Oh, let's get this light back on. There we go. But uh, this was the OG. You can see I removed the chip from this one because I'm playing with it. But that's where the uh, controller would be. You know, they're, they're close. They just, you know, made it cheaper to build. Uh, made it all one unit. I am assuming they did it that way because it was easier for different countries to have, you know, different bottom units, maybe. That's my guess. Or they had a bunch of these or these. My guess is these left over from when they were RF because they look very similar to the last generation of uh, RF. At least that part does. So I don't know. I'm just speculating and rambling and blah, 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 blah. So, anyway, if, uh, if you want to try another kind of outlet, these uh, Go Suns are pretty sweet. You know, their uh, form factor's good. They're built well. Easy to set up. They, it looks like, let me see if we can fit two. I don't know if this is a normal two gang. Yeah, it is, but that's okay. You can't do two right underneath each other. That's okay. Most of these you can't. So, that's really all there is to it. If, uh, if you have any questions about these, if uh, you want to buy them for yourselves, I, uh, I'll stick a non-affiliate link in the bottom there. So feel free to click on that and buy some for yourself. And if you have any questions about them, or want to post a uh, video of your own, leave a link to it in the comments. And aside from that, as always, thank you for watching.